Hey guys, this is James and welcome to a new Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a rolling text animation just like this one manually in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's dive in. Here I have already made a project. Let's open the default 1080p sequence. If I just double click, I can open it right. So first we need to write the text that you want to roll up. So I will go to here, which is the text tool. Just click here to enable this tool and then click on your program panel to write whatever you want so i'm just clicking here i have already copied some text i'll just paste those text like this one so these are some years number we're going to make a rolling animation to reveal 2025 because we are very close to 2025 so how you can do that after writing the text or after pasting the text you need to go to your properties panel by the way properties panel is the brand new panel in adobe premiere pro 2025 before that we'll have essential graphics panel but in 2025 premiere pro version we are not getting that essential graphics panel will get properties panel and from there you can edit the text uh, change the fonts and style whatever you want right so go here to the properties panel if you don't see go to window and there you will see properties here you can just click here to enable properties and then from there you can change the text uh, font if you want and i will suggest you to click here on this center alignment and then you can position the text at the middle of your uh, program window right so here is our text now it's time to animate the text before uh, doing the animation we need to mask out the text so will not show the whole part of the text will just show maybe three years digit or four year digit whatever you want so to do that we need to go to effects control panel and there you'll see opacity panel right so from here you can just mask the section that you want to mask out i'll just use a rectangle mask just click here to enable the rectangle mask it will make a default mask at the center of your program window i'll just keep it as it is i'll just increase the mask feather a little bit right if i just increase it you'll see we are getting a very gradual masking here at the edge of our mask right so that is what i want so for the masking part that is what i exactly wanted now let's animate the text to animate the text you need to go to here again to your effects control panel if you don't see you can just go to window and there you'll see effects control mm -hmm. click here to enable your effects control and there you'll see vector motion and from here you need to animate the position of your text if you animate the position you'll see the revealing is happening right so at the beginning we'll have no text right so i'll just change the position here just like that and then at the beginning i'll insert a position keyframe right just click here and then go maybe here and then just change the position to reveal 2025 or whatever year or whatever text you want to reveal so i'll just keep it here just like that so i'll reveal 2025 at the end so here is our ending keyframe now depending on the duration of your animation you can change the last keyframe position suppose if i go here in my timeline and now uh, i want to make the animation maybe seven seconds long right i can just increase the text and now if i go here i can just click and drag this last keyframe at the end so if i play it back now you can see the animation is happening but for now it is not looking cool we are going to make it much better so for now i just keep it here maybe after revealing the text you want to have a section where 2025 stand for a while right so that is our animation for now so it is very linear animation to add some is in or is out we can just go here at the end keyframe right click and then go to temporal interpolation and from here you can click on is out so click here is out and then at the beginning right click and then go to temporal interpolation click on is in you can just double click here on your effects control panel to make it a lot bigger and then if you click here on the position section it will reveal the handle for the is in or is out section you can just click and drag this section and you can click and drag this section to make a curve just like that 
so it's looking great if i go back just by double clicking here on the effects panel now if i play it back you can see the animation starts very fast and then in the middle the speed is higher and lastly it just end the animation very slowly so it's look cool we can just decrease it a little bit i think that is whole lot motion there going on so i think that is perfect so there the text is just rolling but we don't have any motion uh, blur so to add motion blur you can go here on effects control panel and then search for directional blur click and drag this directional blur on top of your text layer just release it and from there we need to add some blurriness right go to at the beginning of your timeline and then add a keyframe for directional blur so here is the directional blur i will add a keyframe for blur length and then again go to at the end of your keyframe and there also add a keyframe now at the middle add another keyframe but for this section you need to increase the blurriness maybe 20 to 30 ish right so here you can see we have added motion blur right you can change the direction of your blur depending on the motion or text right for me the rolling is happening from the top to bottom so i'll just keep the direction zero right so if i play it back now so lastly i'll just place the sound effect here and let's play and see the final result So that is all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you're on this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye